of good afternoon i think yeah good afternoon everyone okay uh today uh my name is iwan chandra uh, i'm come from surabaya indonesia yeah today i will present that to you uh, secure office interconnection using broadband internet connection okay uh, first thing uh, who am I I'm my name is Iwan Chandra uh, I'm I learned networking since 2008 uh, using Mikrotik since to 2011 and now I'm lecture in Sekolah Tinggi Teknik Surabaya Indonesia uh, and then Mikrotik Academy trainer for for the same institution since 2014 uh, and now uh, it's been almost a year I've been Mikrotik certified trainer for BelajarMikrotik.com and also network consultant and system integration for Harvard Technology since 2015 okay uh, yes this is a little from my institution in Sekolah Tinggi Teknik Surabaya yeah yeah just uh, uh, and university, I think, uh, focus on electrical engineering and computer science. Okay, and then from BelajarMikrotik.com, yeah, it started in 2013 and started by Harry Darmawan and Akbar Aswir under company Harvard Technology. Uh, we focus on Mikrotik training, yeah, uh, MTCNA, MTCRE, MTCTCE, MTCWE, MTCUME, and MTC INE. Uh, for more info, you can contact info at belajarmikrotik.com. Okay, uh, enough for the sponsor. Uh, let's we speak about businesses today. Okay. Okay. Uh, today, business is growing at rapid rate. So, yeah, many many office they made branches in different areas to support the business expansion. For example. Uh, if my company try to expand in the uh, KL or Malaysia, I should uh, open a company, open an office branches in KL, for example. Uh, but some, uh, yeah, some 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 company they need uh, to interconnect the network be between the HQ and the branches. Uh, th that connection only can be established yeah, with dedicated internet connection. Yeah, I if you have database in the HQ, if you want to access from the branches, uh, you need to dial the IP address. You need to access the IP address. Okay, but the problem is uh, dedicated internet is considered is too expensive. Yeah, it's so expensive for low end business, especially uh, for startup. Okay. And also, they need to secure their network. Yeah, if you, yeah, if you walk to the WAN, to the internet, for, uh, yeah, there, there, there might some be attacks you, you will get on the way. Uh, the solution, yeah, the solution is using VPN connection, yeah, using VPN connection. But uh, the problem is it's the same, yeah. Uh, if you have, uh, if you want to build VPN connection, you still need IP address, okay. Okay. The next is the broadband networking, okay. The broadband networking is, yeah. Let me see. Uh, we usually call it by retail internet connection. Yeah, we can identify broadband connection if they sell sell it to us with uh, up to okay up to if uh, if they sell you up to three Mbps, three M megabit per second. Uh, actually, it's almost possible to get three megabit per second. So that's it. Uh, that's it. Broadband. Okay. The ISP usually share bandwidth with the other users. Uh, for example, if uh, ISP will will place a station, 
I think uh, station in uh, in an area, and then from the area they'll distribute it to the customers. Uh, and the problem is the broadband networking usually doesn't does not provide static public IP address. So maybe uh, an hour, uh, an hour or two hours, the public IP may change, uh, may change. And even some ISPs doesn't provide public IPs. Yeah, in the Indonesia, I, it's happened to me once. Uh, I use a broadband internet connection. But they don't, they don't give give me uh, public IP address. Just only s private IP address. Ten dot something. So yeah, finally I cut it out. So yeah, I moved to the other ISP. That's the problem. Yeah, that's the problem. And then the uh, the question is, how can we dial a VPN connection to a server if there is no public IP addresses? Anyone can answer? Here's come the solution. Yeah, we can we cannot dial, uh, uh, we cannot open a web server without a public IPs, or we cannot dial a VPN without public IPs. So the solution, yeah, I'm using third-party VPN server. Yeah. So. Uh, we need a VPN server with a public IP. Yeah, we can build it ourselves in the VPS, or we can uh, subscribe to a provider. Yeah, in this case, I built a VPN server using Microtik OS 632 on a virtual machine in the clouds. So, if you uh, if you come to the first to the first presentation on Mr. Rovic, you can you can use CHR. Okay, CHR. Uh, in this machine, I'm using only one gig storage, uh, but I believe one, one to eight, one one hundred to one hundred twenty eight is enough. Yeah, one hundred twenty eight gig mega mega part is enough, and one hundred twenty eight megabytes of memory. Using Rotor OS level four license. Yeah, it's in the cloud, so. Uh, yeah, you have to uh, you have to use IP uh, public IPs on the VPS, so you can access this anywhere. Okay, and then uh, I enable Rotor OS VPN on the my VPN server. Yeah, uh, Rotor Rotor OS VPN. Yeah, it supports some VPN methods. As you can see, you can build IPsec. PPTP, L2TP, OpenVPN, and SSTP. Yeah, uh, yeah, it supports this uh, this standard tunneling protocol. Yeah, it supports VPN server and VPN client, both of them. And and CloudOS, yeah, it's able to create VPN server and VPN client simultaneously. At the same time, yeah, and it's quite easy for the configuration, I think. Okay, uh, to enable the VPN server function, yeah, we can use PPP menu, yeah, PPP menu right here, and then you can choose on the top uh, interface tab, you can choose uh, PPTP server, SSTP server, LTTP server, or Open VPN server based on you want to create. So and then you just enable the servers, just like that. Yeah, and then you need to set up the profile and secret to access your VPN server for the clients. Okay, Le let me uh, let me explain to you the secrets and the sec uh, secret and the profile. Yeah. This one is profile. Yeah, this pro profile is the uh, what it's what I said. Yeah, yeah. The profile will be used by the users. Okay, you have you uh, you need to have one profile, and this one profile can be used by multiple users. Yeah. 
So uh, for example like this, uh, the minimum configuration I have to insert is local address and remote address. Okay. Uh, for the for these two address, you can use point-to-point uh, -point addressing, which is slash 32. Okay. For the remote address, I use IP pools because uh, we can manage many clients. So if you if you only put one IP address, there will be conflict on your client. Okay. And then after have the profile, you can use the profile within uh, the secret. Now, the secret is the username and password you want to give to the customer. Yeah, so like this, yeah, you, you just name is the username and the password is the password. And then select the profile you have just created. So, for, for example, uh, this username C01, C01 will be used VPN profile I created before. Okay. Okay. In the in this in this profile and secret, we can limit the privilege for our user. For for example, you can uh, give a limitation bandwidth limitation, or quota maybe, or how how many session can be managed by a user. Okay. This is uh, for profile and secret. And also in secret, uh, you can limit the service. If you leave any, if you leave any, this user can be used in PPTP, L2TP, SSTP, OpenVPN, and the others, even PPPOE. Okay. Okay. Uh, the client can access the server using PC, but it's better to set up the VPN client on the client's gateway. So. Uh, I believe the uh, the client, the branches, ha will have a router on each side. So yeah, we the so the user, the PCs will will not it doesn't doesn't have to do anything with the configuration on the PC because all in all, all of the traffic, all of the traffic will pass through the gateway. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm still using router OS for the client. So class router such as IP nine five one or seven five one. Eh, sorry, sorry, seven five zero, or even the mini access point MAP. I believe it's working for this configuration. But yeah, uh, to to choose a router for for your for a company, you need to specify the user local local user requirement, such as how many clients will be connected, or how many resource, yeah, just like that. Okay, uh, for the clients, yeah, for the uh, for 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 the gateway, yeah, for this three router, H key branch and branch two, will dial to the router OS VPN server. This is in the clouds. Okay. For for creating a client, uh, sorry, PPP client, yeah, you just have to add new interface. Yeah, just add the interface in the PPP menu, then add the VPN client interfaces. This is for example, uh, this one is uh, SSTP. Okay, SSTP, SSTP client. Okay, uh, the connect to, yeah, you can fill by IP address or URL to the to your server. Okay? And then you you put user and password we created before on the server. Okay? This is uh for yeah. This is SSTP and this is PPTP. Okay. Just like this and yeah, once you have on internet you have internet connection you will be able to create the tunnel, the VPN. So 
it will be look like this. Yeah, we have the tunnel between the router, the gateways, and the VPN server. Okay, but we still have, we, we still don't don't have connection from this router to this router. Well, from the HQ and the branches, we we still don't have the connection. And then how we interconnection each node? Yeah. Uh, we 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 make we need to make sure uh, it's not can I communicating in each other. We need uh, static routing. In this case, I use static routing. Yeah, but I believe, but I believe uh, you can use dynamic routing such as OSPF on R on RIP. Okay. And then I need to add I need to add static routing. Okay. This is the configuration I use. Uh, this command is accessing this router and oh sorry it this one and this command is the down okay so so will be the same with the others okay and then if I I, I, I insert this command uh, the routers uh, from HQ and branches should be able to ping each others Okay. Nah, and then how can we secure the nodes? Uh, we yeah, how can we securing the nodes? We need to make sure the security between the nodes is secure. Uh, even uh, if you use the third party, uh, mm, yeah, the third party VPN server, because we 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 never know if we uh, if they doing something with the. Your, with your package in the clouds, yeah, we can we we need to make sure uh, the connection the end to end connection is secure, yeah. So we can create a tunnel inside the VPN connection we have established before. So we 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 create a tunnel inside the VPN. In my case study, I'm using AIP tunnel, okay. EOIP is a proprietary protocol only on Mikrotik. Yeah, so you can create EOIP tunnel using Cisco or something. So yeah, even the laptop is not going to able to create EOIP. You can if you if you using the other brand, the using Cisco or something. You can use other tunnel protocols such as IP tunnel, but yeah, for my for this case, I find IP tunnel does not for does not quite stable. Yeah, so I'm using UIP. It's a lot more more stable. So uh, to create UIP tunnel, you need to define your remote host address and also the tunnel ID. Yeah, this is for the example. This is the HQ. This is the branch one. Okay. Uh, yeah, I should put the remote address and tunnel ID. Okay, the remote address I use is the remote address of the VPN server from the branches. Okay, the local address is optional. Okay, the next thing you have to insert is the you you need to define is uh, tunnel ID. Yeah. The tunnel ID is works. Uh, I think it's like an authentication. Yeah, just just simple using number between to between a uh, remote and local. You you have to put the same tunnel ID. So if in this in this set fifteen, in this set must be fifteen. But if if later I want to create a UIP tunnel between this router and this router, I, at, uh, I can use 15 anymore. I, I use the other, maybe, maybe 16, maybe 20. It's like that. Yeah. So, I, yeah, we it will be uh, it will be create a virtual virtual tunnel inside the VPN. Okay. And then, if you have create this uh, this uh, tunnel, yeah, it will get uh, it will appear one interface, yeah, name EOIP tunnel. This this tunnel 
Yeah, this tunnel you can set IP address on it. Yeah, one of the uh, feature of EIP. Yeah, this tunnel can be bridged. Yeah, this tunnel can be bridged into Ethernet interface. But if you not if you if you do not want to bridge, yeah, it's just uh, being an IP tunnel. So you can make an yeah make an interface like this. And the cloud in the middle, you can you can see it anymore. So I uh, yeah I have this connection right now. Yeah, this uh, we this side you can get IP, this IP, IP, and IP. So yeah, you can route it each other. Now, yeah, we we just yeah we just have uh, create the network yeah the interconnection network and how we connect the local network of each branches how how we connected the local network of the branches with the HQ yeah the yeah we the, the answer is simple same the routing table yeah we we, we need to update the routing table Okay. All we need to do is to create the route for the remote networks of uh, on each router using AIP as the gateway. Yeah. So I I'm not using the S, uh, the VPN IPs again. Yeah. I'm using the AIP because if uh, if I use the gateway uh, with VPN IPs, the tunnel will be not used. It's, it's useless. Okay, so yeah, and the last I add the routes like this. This route is for branch one, and this is the for the HQ. This route is for branch two, and this is for the HQ. Just yeah, that's it. That's uh yeah, or a simple. I think it's a simple. A configuration. Yeah, if you need to interconnecting two branches with no public IP address, yeah, even this configuration is is it's work. It's work with uh, private IP address from the ISP as long you have internet connection. Okay. Uh, for the implementation, yeah, the current configuration is used on CV Multimas Surabaya with two branches, Bon Cafe Restaurants with five branches, and Bravo Supermarket with three branches. Okay, those company runs Lions ERP. Yeah, it's a software developed by my college, Johnny es Johnny Hermanto. Yeah, it's he is known as Johnny SQL in Indonesia. Uh, if you come from Indonesia, you 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 will know. Uh, he's a comedian and also programmer. Okay. Okay. Uh, last thing, the fact is, yeah, we can use SSTP. Yeah, we can use SSTP if the ISP block PPTP or GRE tunnel protocol. Yeah, some ISP maybe block uh, block your access to create a tunneling, a PPTP, for example. But uh, yeah, you can you can do SSTP as well because SSTP runs on four four three port port uh, uh, TCP four four three same as HTTPS. So if they use uh, they blocking if they blocks four four three, you will the the customer will would not be able to. Create, oh sorry, you, the client the client will not be able to access Facebook, Google, and HTTPS web. And then the second fact is EIP. I find it is more stable than IP tunnel. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's more stable. And then to make sure the security, you can create the tunnels over SSTP or PPTP. Yeah, you can make a tunnel inside a VPN. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, any question? Yeah, uh, I think it's quite simple. Yeah, I think it's quite simple. And but uh, it's kind of very, very, very confusing with the routing if you have multiple nodes. Uh, so I believe uh, I believe it will be work if I use OSPF, but I haven't tried it, so I'm not putting inside the presentation. Okay. Yeah, same as the uh, same as me for uh, before presentation. I don't have a present for you. So, any question? Well, if not question, I believe you you guys all are hang hungry because it's lunch time, right? Okay. Any question? Yeah. Uh, yeah, this this implementation work as well, so that's it. Hey, uh, it's uh, I think that's a uh, hundred of you. No one's going to give me a question, please. <laughs> okay, no one. Hello, it's me. No one ask no one question. Okay. Uh, well, if if you have not question, uh, I must be waiting for Normans to com come back here. Normans. Normans. Anyone? Yeah, uh, it's almost almost lunch time. So, Mr. Paul, Normuns, please, Normuns, Normuns, please call me Normuns. Panggilin Normuns. Yeah, yeah, it's it's time. So, yeah, my time is only thirteen minutes. So, yeah, I guess I end this presentation. Should I end the presentation or you? Yeah. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Now, if you have any questions that you don't want to ask uh, loud, you can find him somewhere around. Yeah. And uh, any of our presenters are available. You can talk with them. Don't be afraid. Um, many people walking around. You can talk. This is what the Microtech user meeting is about. <laughs> so, um, let's see. It is almost lunch time. You can now have a break there is a coffee you can talk with our distributors you can talk to the presenters ask your questions and uh, outside of the door i have updated our agenda you can see the plan and see you again after the lunch time at 2 45. so now it is enough time to find somewhere to eat and get a rest from these difficult presentations. Okay, see you later. <laughs>